Last time I said anything on here, I was planning on getting a van. Well, things have changed and I've decided to keep my car. Good morning. So I feel like I have come up with a really great way to organize um, my car because I'm able to hang things on, on bungee cords and hooks all over the metal shelf thing that I have in my car. So I will show you. It's working out perfectly. And this morning I have woken up uh, to some ice on my windows, but not in the back, which is great. But look at the ice. So my back window actually does have ice on it. It's just the um, side windows that didn't have ice. Only a little bit on the edges, but not as bad as the back. My hoodie is all rolled under right now because where I was breathing, I guess, having it close to me and the blanket that was close to me actually was quite wet. So I'm going to have to take this off and let it dry just from the condensation. It's about minus 9 degrees and wind chill makes it feel like minus 18 degrees Celsius. And I'm doing this just as an adventure. I am super close to home. I am trying to get my car all set up the way I want it so that when I can start traveling again, it's going to be perfect. I know a lot of people would think that I'm crazy for wanting to get out here and be in my car in this freezing freezing cold weather but I love it so much it actually motivates me to get things done and I get organized and it's something I really enjoy I worked on my computer last night I flew my drone for the first time let's get to it I'm gonna show you what I mean by hanging things on this new little setup I have Okay, so I've got this metal frame, which um, this is in driving mode right now. Um, I just kind of cleaned it all up and it got organized, but normally I don't have it all just bunched up here. It looks a little nicer. I've got my T here and my cord for my computer and just some makeup bathroom stuff here and my books, my plant and my um, crystals and my coffee mug. But I just wanted to show you that I've got it all um, in there securely with this bungee. It's kind of holding them all in. And this is being held down with that. And I also have a bungee cord holding up my Dixie cups from the outside. I can just take it off. That's my very expensive cup holder. <laughs> and I've got extra bungee cords. I've got my light up here, which is just a regular light. But when it shines down through the metal, it lights it up quite nicely. And I've got my water bottle hanging on the other side. I have bags that are here that are hanging for um, fruit or they're actually um, produce bags. I have them hanging on the back with a magnet. This magnet just sticks onto the metal. And then I have my hook. You can put that anywhere if you wanna hang something on it. And I have these little guys hanging if I want to have them down. I have them up when I'm driving so they're not swinging around and dinging anything, tinging and making a noise. There. Just put them up. I have my Jackery down there for power. I have my CO detector bathroom area which is my toilet and see bungee this is a bungee cord holding that on for my toilet roll and this bungee is holding up my sign it says create your motivation which a friend of mine Nadia uh, said something in one of her Instagram posts about motivation and procrastination and stuff and it prompted me to write this up so thank you Nadia if you're watching this she is Field of Visions on Instagram and YouTube as well as TikTok I have this bungee cord holding up my 
heater and it's just strapped through the top of the car there through the handle of the heater and then over back here just because it's long so that's my nice little setup and my clothing is on the back the back shelf there there's little lights around that which you just turn on with this battery pack here and these lights that are up there are just turned on right here behind the there's a little battery pack there you just turn it on there i just have an extra piece of reflectix here uh, and i also have a a ski jacket on the floor that i don't use I'm trying to keep it insulated a bit there and i put this these wipes under there to keep this wood thing flat just temporarily while I use my heater. I mean, okay, so I've taken it down and it just goes in that round ring. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing right in front of it. I'm gonna make this more flat, there we go. Because it gets quite hot. And let's see, make sure there's no cloth or fabric behind it is fine because it doesn't get hot at all you can have it even against something I mean I know I have it against reflectix and not fabric so it's not gonna be a problem but it doesn't get hot anywhere around the back area just this actual ring and it doesn't even get hot right here where my plastic is but it mostly gets hot right above it so you got to make sure you're far enough away from your the ceiling of your car here, the roof. I like to light it when it's up here, actually. I aim it away from you. It shuts off if it tips over as well. There's a, there's a button on the side here. Okay. And then I hold it down. go. I think I have to hold it longer. Oh, it's on. Didn't even hear it or smell it or anything. And then I just... If you move it too quickly, it will go off. Just make sure it's stable. I like to push it back as far as I can. But obviously this is a small space, so you have to be super, super careful. And I have my window open. Got some good heat. It's really important that it's not too high to the ceiling. If I had this sitting on top of the toilet, it would be too close to the ceiling. I am pretty sure it would melt it, burn it. So these curtains are Velcroed to the side there and there's Velcro here as well. And then my lights up there. So what I do is I take the sides off and I roll, I roll this in and I roll that one in, and then I roll from the middle and up. Tucking in the sides as I go up. I keep, I go. And then when I have it rolled up like this, I put pins in one this way and one that way. So I get it like that. There's that there and that there. And then I will do the same thing. Here. When I put pins both ways, it, then they never fall out. Turn off my lights. And it's just the easiest way to have a curtain down the middle of your car without having to put it up every time. I mean, maybe someone won't like having to roll it and pin it every time and they'd rather just take it down, but I quite like it this way. Mostly because when the curtain's down and the way I have it pinned up there so tightly all the way around, it's completely like it's sewn into the roof and it's completely 
sealed where the, you can't tell when you're in when I'm in my car and the bright light is on you cannot tell that I'm in here with any light light showing or anything so I like it for that reason this is on the other side I've got storage under there and I've got my soda stream here I find I have quite a bit of space with it being this way, with my bed being on one side, which is super comfy. This can actually lay down um, right across that area and I can sit with my feet here and that's like a desk. If I want this to be like a couch, I just have the pillow against the back here and my feet can be down there. It is so cozy. Believe me, it is really comfy and I'm loving it. I can also stretch out. That's pretty good. I have built a wooden platform underneath. Um, I took out the entire seat and I have a wooden platform right across. I used to have the cushion for the seat of the car left in, but I had just taken the back out. But now I have um, I have it completely out and I did build a wooden platform right across. And also I have the blackout curtains here that are pinned all the way up along here so that this keeps out the cold air from coming in because it's really quite cold in the trunk area. And it's actually two pieces because if it was one then it would just be too tight across and I wouldn't be able to put my legs through there. My purse thrown back there. Oh yeah, and I've got like my knife hanging there. I've got my glasses. I've got my cord for my phone. This metal thing is great. I also have some lavender, my keys. But just just to be able to hang everything off it is so great. It's so perfect for organization. So if you need to organize your small space, I highly recommend this. And these are old. I've had them for a while, but I did get them at Home Depot. Um, they come in a pack of, I think you can make four, no, six, six cubes, I think, that all go together. You can make, design them in any way you want. So I could have had more, but this just worked out perfectly. Then it gave me the space that I needed for my bathroom area. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you subscribe. And if you did like it, please hit the like button. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.